Yeah, so hello everyone. Today we have a very special guest with us, Mr. Shubhrajit Biswas, who has secured an All India rank of four in Aerospace Gate 2022. First of all, congratulations to you on behalf of the whole IGC family for your wonderful achievement. It is a very proud moment for all of us, and especially me because being a senior of yours. So you already know me, but still let me introduce myself. I'm Shreyan Chatterji. I also graduated from IIAST Shetpur and Aerospace Engineering. I am currently pursuing MTech in IIT Bombay in Aerospace Engineering. I had cleared the A Aerospace Gate 2021 with an All India rank of three, thanks to the support of IGC. So as an IGC and as a as your college senior, like I'm feeling very proud uh, for your success achieving AIR4. Uh, so, like, we would like to know more about you. So, can you tell us something about yourself? Uh, I am Shubhrajati Vishesh. I am studying aerospace engineering in uh, IAST Shipboard. Uh, I am from Kolkata, West Bengal. Uh, aerospace has always been my passion. You can say, like, from my school days, I have been uh, focused to get something in aerospace aerospace or related fields. Uh, I use my free time in playing guitar or listening to music. Uh, within this COVID times, in this lockdown, I developed a habit of watching web series and other stuff. And yeah, I think that's all about myself. Okay. So like, how are you feeling about your achievement? I, I, uh, actually, it's quite unexpected. Like, uh, I didn't think it would be so high. Like, I was expecting around uh, under 20 or something like that. But yeah, it's a pleasant surprise. And at the same time, I was relieved. Like, OK, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's fine. So, like, how did you feel when you first saw for your the, like, the result coming in front and your rank? And score later. Yeah, so actually, after the lockdown, uh, our hostels have reopened. So all of my friends are in the campus. Uh, it's, it was on the 16th night, uh, 16th of March. So we were waiting for the next day, and we were all like quite tensed. I hadn't checked my score from this uh, official QB, so I was totally going blind. And like suddenly, there was this message uh, in the group okay, the result has come out. You can check now. And like it was. For the five or six minutes, the site was down, and it was the most tense moment of my life. Okay, and it can't be explained in words. And just when the result came out, like we started hearing shouts from different part of the hostel. Okay, so ranks are coming out. Let's see. And it, uh, I checked mine, and it was like, uh, it was awesome. Like I don't know how to express it in words. And my friends were all there, so it was kind of amazing to say. A great experience then. Yeah, definitely. It's obviously, like it's a big relief, right? Like once you see it, it's like yeah. your work has been So what was your motivation behind this preparation for data grant? Uh, I wanted to pursue higher studies in aerospace and I definitely had to do MTech and uh, kind of like it was kind of a dream to do this higher studies, so uh, I had to give credit for that. That was the uh, motivation. Okay, so for higher studies, like you worked hard and... So could yeah. you briefly describe your journey, like from the start of the preparation day till like the end, till the result came out? Okay, so... Uh, what you did now well, and... I can say that my preparation was kind of having two parts. The first part began from the second year because we were having these subjects in our courses. And I think all of our GOET syllabus was covered in the classes. So it was helping a lot. Then uh, in my fourth year, I saw that uh, most of my friends were taking uh, some coaching or some test series. So I found from my uh, friends that what common they were taking so that we can discuss the papers. and. Like that, we decided, okay, we will take IGC. Then we went, uh, like, prepared a little bit in the November, December time of 2021. 
and then i started my preparation in full effect after our end semester exams ended in december and from january i took the test series and like one day i'll take a test and then review what is happening and then if i am lacking in some subjects i am reading it up and every day after the test series one of my friend and i will always sit and discuss the paper because i think it's very important to discuss and then like we went on with that same consistency and like after uh, before four on five days before the gate exam we stopped and said okay now let's chill it's uh, too much pressure if we keep on doing this and then we went to the gate exam hall where 12 of our students from the same department were there even some of our juniors were also in that same center so we were kind of relaxed before the exam it was like very nice I, in retrospect it, it is very nice that we were relaxed there and after that the exam happened and we just forgot that we gave gate okay no checking the score no nothing we made a back that whatever happens don't check that score let's go blind for the results and then the result came and i already explained it was amazing uh, yeah. So like how were the last two months like just before gate exam the last two months last two months i realized i can study because before that the online exams and online classes are going on we were totally out of habit from studying seriously like that so in the last two months i figured okay i can still study i can sit consistently for three four hours and do the studies but yeah it was good it was great experience Okay, so like you know, like a, a lot of like students uh, like want to prepare for game, uh, third year, fourth year students, uh, or maybe some of them are also working in jobs and like looking for coaching institute across India. So like, how did you come to know about IGC? I see. I came to know from one of my friend, uh, Abhishek. Pras. So he already had taken this test series before me and. He said that we should take a common test series so that we can uh, discuss the papers and uh, like cover up whatever we are leaving behind. So from your friend, you got to know. Yeah. And as you achieve like this great height in, in final year itself, so how did you manage your time with college studies? Uh, a big part of this is due to the lockdown and the online because if it was offline there would be definitely at least twice the pressure that we are having uh, in online classes you can have the recorded lectures and other things if when if you're missing classes you can catch up later like in this eighth semester i could catch up after i have already uh, given the gate exam otherwise it's becoming very tough so even from your uh, like uh, the two years back, the offline exams they had to give the exams uh, uh, they had to give the classes up so that they can prepare. But this time the professors were willing to say, okay, if you are not attending, we can record it. So it was better that way. And like most of our syllabus was common. That was also very uh, significant in this case because. If, we had a different uh, stream like mechanical then we had to study a lot of excess stuff so that helped having the same discipline so the professors were also supportive of the, yeah uh, regarding this the uh, they were very supportive and did you have any like college exams just before gate or it was over so uh, just after uh, we like uh, after that uh, around two two weeks later, so it was enough time to prepare. Oh, two weeks later, it's a hectic then. Yeah, a little, a little. Be hectic, like, preparing for college, then again for gate, like yeah, balancing yeah. both of them together. It becomes hectic. So, so what is your thoughts about, about handling exam pressure? Like by giving exams, like pressure builder from a lot of students. Yeah, uh, exam pressure. I think a little bit of pressure is always necessary because if there is no pressure, we will never study. That is the rule of students. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, to avoid the excess pressure, like take the mock exams 
uh, with seriousness because think of it as if you are giving the gate exam that's all i can say and in the time you are not studying don't think that i missed this question or i am still not covering this uh, topic if you are not studying try to relax at that point that's it this helps yeah very nice so what did you like most in igc uh, which helped you in the gate exam uh in igc uh, the pro, uh, the faculty there they were always looking out for the students so like even when i was giving the mock test uh, they checked that by each profile they were checking that whether we were underperforming in some subject and they were telling like okay you should study up this or they were asking if you need some help in uh, this question or you need some uh, help in this concept so uh, like i should say that uh, they were very supportive throughout so uh, whichever little time i was uh, involved with igc they helped a lot and can you refer some books which uh, were helpful for like clarifying concepts and for like preparing for gate exam yeah. uh for the fluid box uh, part i think aerodynamics part for the fluid part uh, you can think of fm white there is a book and then by books by anderson junior are very good then for the structure i only used maxson and timoshenko i think they cover all of the basics that you need then for propulsion i followed ganeshan book it was uh, like very compact and it helps a lot and for flight mechanics i had that uh, robert c nelson book uh, it has like uh, very uh, precise chapters and it helps you recapitulate faster because i didn't need to make a formula sheet for flight mechanics and in ptl lectures wherever i am i was having doubt or confusion i would uh, suggest that uh, go for the in ptl lectures so how did you deal with the distractions while your preparation period like social media and other things online gaming mobile uh, okay so i never stopped gaming uh, whatever online game i was playing like the time i am not studying i am totally focused on relaxing because if i am not relaxing enough then the next exam i am not in the fresh mind so uh, like i like i can't say that i cut off anything i just reduced a little bit of facebook time that's all uh, apart from that ch uh, chatting with friends watching the web series and playing online games everything i did it's not that much of a distraction if you can control it so the key is control yes, control watching definitely. and how how did you uh, so i also be asked this so where the heads up you want to give to the uh, budding aerospace engineering students uh, who are like you will be preparing for gate exam Okay, so for gate exams, one thing I will tell everyone that consistency is king. You have to be consistent. That's all. If you are consistent, small steps will uh, take you anywhere you want to go. So do that. And if you are trying to pursue uh, pursue the higher studies, then I would suggest if you are passionate, it will be quite an amazing journey because the B Tech itself was amazing. So let's see what M Tech and PhD other things bring. They will be even better in this terms of work and those things. So, like, what are your future plans now that you have secured a good, like, great result? Yes, uh, uh, right now, I'm thinking about M Tech. I still haven't decided whether I want to go for a, a PhD or do job. So, IGC faculty are helping me a lot in deciding which college I should pick. and whatever like they are giving me some advice like what i should do or not do so right now i should say that i am the most confused person in my department right now <laughs> which college i should take yeah like all of us went through this same thing like i can also relate <laughs> uh, so like yes. talking with seniors asking this that like which yeah yeah that, that, that com comparing what they said So, like, what stream do you like? What specialization do you like? Like the most interesting stream, which one? Uh, I 
which you might take up. I'm like uh, aerospace or propulsion. I am tending towards uh, those two. Aerodynamics or propulsion? Aerodynamics or propulsion, okay. Aerodynamics or propulsion. So, so you have like, done any previous work on them also? Or like just like are you interested? Yes, uh, I am doing my VTEC project in high speed aerodynamics. So I was involved with it and I did an internship uh, in the propulsion department, in the propulsion. So both were quite interesting for me. So you are equally interested in work. Yeah, yeah. It's confused between those two as well. <laughs> and you have to choose again, like it's specialization. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the next step, yeah. So, sir, so closing remark, like, is there anything you want to say more to your juniors and others who will be preparing for the exam? Maybe some tips. Uh, Something. One thing I will repeat again that is consistency is the most important thing. If you are consistent, you can do anything. And second thing is whenever you are feeling uh, any kind of pressure, talk with your batchmates. That's the best thing you can do. Once you talk, you can like find half of your solution just by talking. So these two things I will repeat as many times they need to hear because these are very important. Yeah, I totally agree. Like, talking with friends also like will keep you cool yeah. like plus it will help you solve your doubts so me also so yeah. like my friends were one of the reasons i also succeeded so it's very like it's a big factor so thank you shubhrajati for sharing your journey and experience with us it was very, very nice talking to you and congratulations again for your achievement I hope like all our viewers will be very eager to see this. So thank you. Thank you.